everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Riley. Thank you for joining me this week. If you're new here, much appreciated. For my long-term followers and subscribers, you guys rock and you know it, I'm sure. This week, I thought we would continue with the energy from last week, my excitement about just wanting to do more and, and educate and kind of focus more on that. Um, I thought we'd make use of this brand new photo cube that I got. I was gonna take some photos today of some of the holdbacks and things maybe some of the babies that I still have available. But in the meantime, I thought, why not take a close look at one individual animal at a time, maybe discuss some of the finer things about these, these wonderful snakes that I love so much, carpet pythons. So let's grab a hold of one and uh, let's, let's learn. Let's look at some carpets. Sweet. So I did get a brand new photo cube and I figured this would be a great time to take some, some nicer photos of some of the available babies and things, um, but also to get some, some closer looks at some of the holdbacks that I have because I have quite a few and who doesn't love seeing updated photos of these wonderful snakes kind of growing and changing. So, um, but instead of trying to cram all of them into one video, I thought uh, we'll just start with one. We'll just pick one and test this bad boy out. Uh, it's got a lot of different settings. I can change the, the warmth or the coolness of the light, intensity, I can go low, I can go very high, all of the above. Obviously, I'm gonna turn it down while I'm filming right now so I'm overpower the, the lens here. But um, yeah, I'm really excited about using this. So hopefully this will get me some good photos. And uh, what I'll do is I'll probably put one out here, film it, we'll talk about it, and then maybe over the next few months or so, I'll try and show off more animals in this way, if you guys like it. So don't forget, if you're watching this, like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think of this style of video. And I'll try and acquiesce to any changes that could be made or improved upon. So without further ado, let's test this thing out. Also, if you're ever curious how some of the, the sellers and folks get those perfectly positioned shots with the snake nice and still and coiled up in a circle roughly, this is how it happens some sort of heavy circular object placed, plus a lot of patience. And I mean a lot of patience. All right, so this beautiful little lady is my female jungle carpet python holdback that I produced last season. And I kept her for a number of reasons. One, she has a lot of these beautiful portholes on the side little ocelots. She's the only animal that has shot with any little bit of semi-striping. Considering the dad was striped and there were no stripes out there, I found that interesting. So, kept her. She has this gorgeous color. Now, let's say you've never heard of a jungle carpet python before. Well, this is a species of python found in Australia. They are referred to as a jungle type because they're often found in areas with higher precipitation, more rainforests, a little bit more of a, a moist, almost tropical sort of area. And their camouflage seems to reflect a little more of a, a tropical canopy coverage. Maybe that's why there's more black. Who knows? But where they're found, you see more of this color shift as you go into different areas but they are Morelia spilota chanii. They're a subspecies of the Morelia spilota complex, which is currently being reviewed and potentially revised by some authors and a lot of DNA research. So some regroupings and reclassifications are being suggested as of late. but this is just a wonderful animal. Now, I started with the jungle carpet python because when people who aren't familiar with carpets usually hear about them, the first thing they think of is a nice bright black and yellow because they're the ones that are more eye-catching and memorable. And so this girl will age and grow more, more yellow, more intense color over time. Carpets in general hatch out very drab and kind of black and gray without a lot of color. Over the years of lots of line breeding though, selecting for brighter colors, you're starting to see babies hatch out with more and more color. 
but yeah everybody says jungle carpets are nippy feisty mean this girl definitely breaks that stereotype the majority of my offspring are quite gentle docile sweet I have to say that maybe leans towards multiple generations of captive born bred animals in the hobby plus I handle these guys every time I'm cleaning moving them around things like that so I get used to you most people have got a bad misconception of these snakes being angry bitey animals so just trying to do my part to dispel that myth so yeah jungle carpets there's a lot of different flavors and styles to them get banded little striped stuff aberrant stuff lots of wonderful lines that have a lot of history and kind of interesting background stories to them so you can't ever have just one no two jungles really look alike and that is why I decided to focus on jungle carpets on this video today all right well I'm going to let her go back home. She's getting a little bit tired of having all the lights and focus on her. She's a little concerned of what's going on and why she's so exposed and vulnerable, I'm sure. But I wanted to use her as a, a wonderful starting example of how awesome carpet pythons are. They're a species that most people don't know about or haven't really considered keeping. And I couldn't tell you that they are, they're the best. I can't say it enough, they're wonderful. I absolutely love them, I love breeding them, I love keeping them, and just want to share that with you. Alright, so that's, that's going to be that. All it takes to get some good photos, a little heavy bowl, nice photo cube, a little bit of patience, and uh, even your cell phone will work these days, but yeah, it's really not that hard. And uh, I'll include a couple of the, the better photos here as our little send-off. And I hope this is interesting for y'all. I hope some of you guys who have been on the fence about ever wanting carpet pythons or jungle carpets at that uh, have maybe reconsidered or given it some new thought because uh, I have lots of them. I don't know how many and I love them all. They're wonderful. And uh, yeah, I am producing some this year hopefully pairing about six pairs of jungle carpets this season so with any luck I'll have some of those uh, available I do still have two jungles from that very same clutch available uh, females and some coastals as well so if you're watching this and you're like I need me some carpets in my life I'll let you boy all right well that's that I'm gonna get back to work and shoot some photos and I will catch you guys next week for another video thanks for hanging out Later.